the world around us seems to have its own mind. Nature, society, technology are all dynamic, complex. Is this just a perception or a reality? Are there patterns in this complexity? These are hard philosophical questions to answer. Good day. I am Jomar Fajardo Rabahande, and I am a mathematical biologist. I study complex biological and social systems using the power of mathematics. I am also one of the people helping in the data analytics and modeling of COVID-19 in the Philippines. Today, I am going to introduce you to two colored personas, the black swan and the red queen. When we see a white swan in a lake, then we see another one. Then we observe that there are many white swans. Usually people will conclude that all swans are white. However, this inductive reasoning could be flawed. And who knows, a black swan may exist. The black swan event can happen in various situations especially when we consider risk that come as a surprise. Unexpected black swan events could be rare, but their effects have huge impact in our society. They are hard to predict and could come as outliers, but disregarding them could be dangerous and catastrophic. There are several examples where black swan events happened when we look at history. For example, the dot-com or internet bubble in the 1990s, the Asian financial crisis in 1997, the global financial crisis in 2008, where many companies that we thought were strong and solid became bankrupt. Financial crisis due to its complexity occurred in the past and crashed institutions in the government and private sectors. Investment mistakes, volatilities, speculations, regulatory failures could be the suspects. When events like this happen, its impact ripples and those at the margin of society suffer. Another example, of a black swan event is the aggregation of parasites. As a mathematical biologist, I study host parasite interactions using mathematical models. One of the areas I investigate is the phenomenon called parasite aggregation in macro parasite infections. Here, most hosts have zero or low number of parasites, but there are few hosts which are very unlucky to harbor a large number of parasites. While this phenomenon is already an ecological law, but it is very common in nature. From the point of view of the infected host, this is a black swan. One characteristic of the black swan event is the over-dispersion in its probability distribution, as shown by a variance being greater than the mean. There are disasters that can also be seen as black swans, natural and those driven by men. Unexpected events where people do not have ample time to evacuate occurred, such as the nuclear accident in Chernobyl, eruption by Mount Pinatubo in 1991, and by Taal Volcano in 2020, the earthquakes and tsunami disasters in Japan in 2011, and the storm surge caused by Typhoon Haiyan that led to the devastation of many places in the Visayas group of islands. While there are certain preventive measures and monitoring protocols in place, the risk of disasters is not zero. This is why we always need to be prepared for the big one. Black Swan disasters could be devastating 
and have huge impact in communities. Now, I would like to introduce you to another personality, the Red Queen. This is a concept in evolutionary biology with many interpretations. One interpretation states that species must constantly adapt or evolve to survive against an ever-evolving opposing species such as predators and parasites. Else, uh, they will go extinct. This concept came from the book by Lewis Carroll, Through the Looking Glass. In the book, the Red Queen told Alice, now, here, you see, it takes all the running you can do to keep in the same place. There is a hypothesis that host may escape a parasite by evolving, but the parasite may evolve and target again the host. The host may escape again, but the parasite may evolve to counter the evolution of the host. As a result, there will be a winnerless coevolution between the two. The evolution of antibiotic resistance can be considered as an example of such phenomenon. The concept of Red Queen dynamics has also been used not only in biology, but also in other aspects, such as in social sciences. The arms race between competing companies, the arms race between two warring nations, and the arms race of ideas in the era of fourth industrial evolution can exhibit Red Queen dynamics. The side that cannot keep up the winnerless coevolution can be the loser. I have introduced you to two colored personalities, the black swan and the red queen. As we have seen, these two arise because of the complexity of the system and the complex interaction among the actors in the system. The actors can be humans, animals, plants, parasites, societies, or institutions that interact with each other and the environment. The big C, complexity, should be accounted for. And we can do this if we use systems thinking. We investigate the system as a whole and not just based on individual actors. In studying risk, we need to consider the volatility, uncertainty, and ambiguity of the system. Yes, it is difficult, but one strategy is being prepared and use future thinking. We assess the root cause, we decide based on evidence and data, we map scenarios, and we invest in knowledge, insight, and foresight generation. With these we can minimize the impact of the black swan and the red queen. And we might even save lives. Last but not the least, take home message. Why not we convert the black swan to a white swan? Why not find ways to escape the red queen without losing? One strategy is to adapt and improve by changing not just our ways, but by transforming the design of the system itself. We can use design thinking by addressing our vulnerabilities and to reduce inequality and to reduce fragility. We can use design thinking to improve our strengths and expand our cooperation to win the fight or at least minimize the impact of the Black Swan and the Red Queen. The Black Swan and the Red Queen may always be there. Because of them, we validate that we are humans. We have weaknesses and we might fail. However, we have a hope. We can fight and we can survive as a society for many generations to come. 